How's it going everyone and welcome to Fiesta News, I am your host Fiesta Shy. Today's news will be involving a new release Pokemon game that everyone including myself has been addicted to. For those who do not know what Pokemon Go the game is or what it is about, the article at NewYorker.com explains it and it simply states, it started as an April Fool's joke. Google released a funny video that matched up Google Maps and Pokemon. The video released on April 1st, 2014, went viral, drawing more than 18 million views in all. We thought, why not try to make it real? John Hank said, Hank is the CEO of Niantic, which was then a project inside Google developing mobile games using augmented and mixed media reality. Now for those of you who do not know what augmented and mixed media reality are, an article at Recode.net says, Augmented reality or AR is similar to VR in that it is often delivered through a sensor-packed wearable device such as Google Glass, the Daiquiri Smart Helmet or Epson's Moverio brand of smart glasses. That's not always true though, and the similarities stop shortly after that. Now if you guys are like me, you probably are wondering if Pokemon Go is truly worth it. And after doing some research on the internet, I found an article on IGCritic.com from a Pokemon critic given his point of view, and this is what he had to say. I won't sugarcoat it. The release has been pretty shaky. The complete lack of announcement coupled with crashing servers, horrible lag, GPS issues, and many general problems with the app hasn't made it any easier to become the very best. It also feels slightly insulting that those who do have the game are likely just the cannon fodder for the release phase. Pokemon Go isn't even out in Japan yet, the only place that you will think is getting it first. Are they delivering us for the test run? Maybe, maybe not. Now after playing the Pokemon game myself, I had some technical issues such as my character not wanting to move and the GPS system in my phone not wanting to work properly, but after messing around with it a little bit, Pokemon Go started to work like it was supposed to do, and I actually went to catch them all. Now it is also to my understanding that there are rumors speculating around about Pokemon Go spying on multiple users' Google's accounts. And after doing some research of my own, I found another article from Recode.net explaining the issue. The article says, Niantic Labs, the company behind the Silent Smash hit game Pokemon Go, says that it never intended for the game to get full access to the user's Google accounts. According to the company, Google says that the app has not accessed any user data beyond basic profile information and that Google will soon reduce Pokemon Go's permission to only the limited info that it needs to access. So basically, the problem should be getting fixed really soon according to what the article said, and you can go back to catch them all without having to worry about someone spying on your Google account's personal information. Well, that is all for Fiesta News today. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.